this is one that goes unnoticed quite frequently, inhibit the low pressure light. Inhibit the low pressure light. Which low pressure light am I talking about? I'm talking about the low pressure light? There you go, for the engine driven pump. So if it's engine number one, you pull engine number one fire switch, right? Engine number one hydraulic shutoff valve for that particular pump closes and the low pressure light is inhibited. Isn't that right, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Is that right, man? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, disable the thrust reverser. Disable the TR, okay? Pull the fire switch, thrust reverser is disabled. Last one, engine bleed valve closes. Engine bleed, bleed valve closes. Now, you look at this acronym and you're like, okay, man, that sounds great. You're right. Sounds good. We're in an ice air conditioned classroom, relax, you're not in a normal environment, no pressure. It may become difficult to memorize safe height when the examiner is two feet away from you and you're like, uh, what was all those letters again, right? The easiest way, honestly, is to just go this way across the panel. Yeah. Look for the areas that are light in color. The, the, you notice, you know, there's a dark gray and a light gray. Not because they ran out of paint. Okay. It's because these are the areas affected by the pulling of a fire switch. So if you can just remember, they cannot do the oral without this panel in front of you. They have to have this panel in front of you because the questions are going to be pulled straight out of here. So if you can, you know, remember, okay, I'm going to close the fuel shutoff valve. I'm going to trip the generator, close the hydraulic shutoff valve. And I actually use the hydraulics. I use this hydraulic panel to cover these three items right here. Hydraulic close the shutoff valve on the engine driven pump, inhibit the low pressure light, disable the thrust reverser, because those are all hydraulic items right there. And then you move to the engine bleed valve and just cover the engine bleed valve that it's going to close. Easiest way to remember it. Okay? If you can't do it that way, do it this way. Use both ways. Use everything you've got. So you pull that fire switch. How did all this thing come about? Remember, you're going to pull the fire switch even if there is no fire. Because pulling the fire switch arms the squibs. It does not discharge the fire bottle. And I think commonly there's a misconception that pulling it will discharge it, and that's not actually the case. It's the rotation that will cause it. Okay. Now, when you rotate, you should see left bottle discharge, right bottle discharge. You agree? You should see that. And what happens is sometimes, this is why they say rotate to the stop and hold for one second. Why do you have to hold for one second? Because it has occurred where the rotation of the handle has happened and nothing actually discharged. Okay, you gotta understand too, this discharge light, what is it really measuring? It's pressure. There's a pressure sensor in the bottle and the, you notice when you do it, the light doesn't come on right away. It takes a little bit, right? And not only for this one, really for the cargo is where you really see that discharge light. There's a slight delay in it. The reason there is is why? Because it's measuring pressure. So when you discharge the bottle, the agent, halon, has to flow out. There has to be a low pressure sensed and then the light will illuminate. So you're gonna rotate hold for a second, wait your 30 seconds, rotate the other direction. Beautiful. So that's all done. Right?